Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Terrence Crawford needs to get active. That's the sentiment most fans, uh, Terrence Crawford fans, share when it comes to Crawford and his career. But the thing is, they also recognize he's at the end of his career. And he can do what he wants. Let me tell you this, right? I think Crawford's in a tough spot. He's not getting any younger, and he doesn't seem to want to fight more than once a year. He's out here thinking that he's going to land some huge fight, which we know the Canelo fight seems to be totally off the table. I do think that there's a slight chance that it, it could happen for him to get a big fight because he has Turkey al Sheik in his back pocket. But let me tell you something. PBC is going to block Terrence Crawford out. So there's Earl Spence, Sebastian Fundor. The WBO will look out for Crawford. They love Terrence Crawford. That guy, Paco Valcarcel, he knows that man, he can't close his mouth. He always, his mouth's always open. <laughs> Looking crazy as shit. But he'll look out for Crawford. But right now it looks like Fundora and Spence is what it is. Now Fundora has the WBO and WBC, the belts that matter anyway. Spence has nothing, but he's going to be challenging Fundora. He beats him. He picks up both straps. Murta Zaliev has a WB, the IBF, Crawford's WBA. So Crawford's not getting an opportunity at Fundora and Spence. Uh, his possible uh, choice of opponents, right? And boxing-wise, I think, really, is, is Murta Zaliev. Um, and when you look at what Merton Zaliev was able to do to Tim Zhu, there'd be no better time for Merton Zaliev to cash in on his big win uh, than now and for him to go after Terrence Crawford because Crawford's not going to get it. at That WBO and WBC belt, I just think that's off the table. But I don't think Crawford wants to come in and fight a guy like Merton Zaliev who some people see that it'll be a potential super fight with Crawford fighting him. I just don't think so. But I do know the fact that Crawford was out here saying Tim Zhu underestimated him. He thought it was going to be easy, took the dude lightly. I'm worried about Tim Zhu's health. Looked like the guy was like Tim Zhu was going to get beat to death. Should have stopped the fight earlier. There's enough sound bites from Terrence Crawford for the narrative to be spun that Terrence Crawford may have some apprehensions or be reluctant to get in the ring with a guy who he just watched damn near beat Tim Zhu to death. Now, the thing is this. Can Terrence Crawford beat Mertes Aliyev? I think so. Um, but I think he needs to get back active uh, really quick, man. There's just not a bunch of massively interesting fights out there for Crawford. I think the Madrimov fight, most people now understand Madrimov was no joke. For those who are still saying Madrimov was a bum, Crawford barely got through the fight, then then what are you saying about Crawford then? Uh, you're saying he's getting old? If you gave Crawford credit before and you're not giving him credit now, then what are you saying? He should just retire? I don't understand some of these fans and some of the shit they say about these fighters. I just, I don't get it. But the bottom line is, Mertesaliev, uh, Madrimov was a tough fight. I think Mertesaliev will present some, some, some challenges for Crawford because of that reach. But But the thing is, Terrence Crawford should be the favorite, but I wouldn't be confident that Terrence Crawford beats Mertes Aliyev. I don't think, I'm not confident he'll beat him if Crawford fights him next because of the inactivity, man. I don't care what you say. You've got to stay active. All fighters. Crawford, yeah, he's special. He's proven to be the exception to the rules, but I saw some shit in that Majumar fight that I was like, Crawford better get in that ring and stay active. Twice a year, if that's all you got, okay, but once a year... That ain't it. Um, and then you got the Majumov Bohuchuk winner. Bohuchuk beats Majumov. Then you got Crawford at 154. He's got Bohuchuk and then he, uh, Mertazalia. But again, I just think he's going to be frozen up. Now, if that doesn't work out to, to mess around at 154, because those aren't the fights he wants, okay? If, that's, if he's like, you know what? I don't want to waste my time here. Um, and dance with these Eastern European fighters. For whatever reason, 
But then you know you got Crawford possibly fighting this guy, uh, Conor, Conor McGregor. Now, let me tell you something. $200 million for two fights. Looks like Crawford could get $100 million. Conor could get $100 million. I don't know how it's going to be split up. But Crawford could be getting his the, the, the retirement money he wants. But he's going to have to get out of his comfort zone and go fight a guy uh, like Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor wants it. Terrence Crawford wants it. Dana White is saying no. If you listen to Dana White, he's always going to talk up uh, UFC guys. You know what I'm saying? His whole thing is Crawford's a, a superstar in the boxing world, but Crawford uh, uh, rightfully so respects the MMA world, and Crawford shouldn't come over because if he does, he'll get destroyed. I'm going to tell you, I don't believe that shit. I think right now is the perfect time for Crawford to go to the MMA world and fight Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is out of control, people. Conor McGregor is not living a disciplined lifestyle. This man drunk all the time. He's out here chasing women. Matter of fact, he's doing shit. And he grabbed that woman by her hair, and then like he caught himself, then he grabbed his wife by her hair and slapped her on her butt. I'm like, Conor is just wow. He out here getting drunk and just grabbing on women and doing whatever. I think this is the perfect time for Crawford to get a fight like that. Now, the thing is, for Dana White to come out here and say, no, he won't support the fight because he feels it's a mismatch, Conor McGregor will destroy Crawford. Let me tell you all something. For those who are saying the fight won't happen, Turkey Al Sheet. Turkey Al Sheet wants that fight to happen. I'm pretty sure it'll happen because of the money. He'll put that money up, make sure everybody's happy, and you'll see that crossover fight. Crawford and McGregor. Now, if you ask me if they go to the MMA world, who wins? I think Crawford wins. If you listen to Conor McGregor, he'll tell you that he's a brilliant master martial artist. He's Bruce Lee versus the blah, blah, blah. You listen to Conor McGregor, he'll have you believing that he's something that he's that we've never seen before. <laughs> Conor McGregor, the kind of guy that can convince you to put a down payment on a free lunch. And take your goddamn money. So I, I don't buy nothing, he says. I think I think Terrence Crawford would beat Conor McGregor. People keep talking about, well, Crawford's strong. He deadlifts this. Uh, he used to wrestle. He said this. Man, get, I, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. If you're going to talk to me to try to convince me that Crawford will get a big win against McGregor, it's because McGregor has not lived a, a disciplined life of a, of a fighter. He's a goddamn billionaire now, and he's out here acting the fool. They say when people get money, the real side of them come out. And I think that's what we're seeing with Conor McGregor, the real side of Conor McGregor, which is just a fool, man. But anyway, good luck to Terrence Crawford. But I'm telling y'all, man, don't don't think Crawford is going to come out here and keep doing amazing things in the boxing world. I don't think so. Now, for those of you who are just Crawford fans and got, got his nuts in your mouth, step back and be real about it. You can't, at his age... Continue to become to get better and better. That's just not how it fucking works, man. That's not how it works. Crawford got he's got some dope from boxing and outside of boxing. He's waiting for the cash out fight, and I don't blame him. I think he should get it. But for y'all thinking he gonna come out here and get in some super tough fight with a Mertzaliev, Crawford ain't doing that shit unless they're gonna pay him real dope. He ain't doing that. He's not doing that, man. Fundora, he'd fight him. Spence, he'd fight him. Them other guys, I'm sure he's going to be like, first of all, Fundora's a big fight because Fundora has a name. Not a mega event, but it's a big fight. Earl Spence and Crawford rematch, that shit's going to go wild, right? Everybody wants to see that. Even though they most feel Earl Spence should retire, that shit would sell. But outside of a Spence fight, really, for Crawford, there really ain't nothing there. There really isn't anything there. So I don't know what he's going to do. But um, to me, he needs to get active. Um, and it's either to me, Conor McGregor or Conor McGregor, he ain't going to get Cano or just retire. Because I hate to see Crawford come out here to try to do something he doesn't really want to do just because of money and he gets embarrassed because he's chasing money. Learn from Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia 
doing something he didn't really want to do. Got in there with Eris Landy Lara, and Lara put the bing bings on him and actually hurt him for the, really hurt him for the first time in his career when his dad threw in the towel. Last thing we need to see is Bomek throwing in the towel for Crawford. And I know some of y'all think that, that Crawford is just invincible and there's no way in the world anyone can hurt him. Crawford's human. And he's getting older, right? And he's inactive. He's human. He's older. He's inactive. That, let me tell you, those three things, man, uh, 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 as bad medicine for a guy who wants to come in and fight active, really strong, great fighters at 154. No matter how good I think Crawford is, you, I'm telling you, when you're inactive, man, shit takes a toll on you, and you're getting older. Crawford is slipping people. Not to the point to where I think he goes in there and people easily clip him. He's slipping enough to where some shit could happen. And if he don't get active and he comes back and tries to fuck with a Mertazali of any of those guys, he could see Crawford get his ass touched up and possibly stopped. Because if he getting touched up and hurt, I just think I just think these guys, these younger and stronger guys, are just going to pour it on him. They're coming to win. Like, there's so much motivation for those guys facing Crawford. Crawford don't have that motivation. Like, what do you what do you want Crawford to do at, at this point, right? If he's not getting active, he should just retire. But you, you want him to come to the, back in the ring to try to get motivated through these arduous training camps, brutal training camps, to fight Martin Zaliev. Anyway, keep cool. Shout out to the veterans on seven continents.